Right, um, I'm going to show you how to uh, make a ringtone on your phone by using one of your mp3 song files. It's really easy. Um, you can open up your Mozilla Firefox or whatever browser you have. And you can go to tonebee.com. <clears throat> and you can sign up. I'll just log in here. Log in. Um, it says it's free for a limited time, but try it and it should be free. If it isn't, tell me, and then I'll just put an annotation. And if I click make your um ringtone, and by the way, you need a real email for this so like you need a confirmation message and it, uh, it makes it really easy for you what you do is you just load or upload your f file mp3 or whatever audio file and then you just move the 30 second increment thing to whatever part of your song they they want to be your ringtone so you just want to you might want to play it because um, you can make your ringtone re sound really bad. Even if it's a good song, if you just put it in the middle of nowhere, it's going to sound really bad. But <coughs> you just do that. And if the, if it's already in their database, then you can just save it. But if it's not, like mine isn't, just add a song to Tone B. And add a song. I'll add a song for a while. Don't worry about the cut codes, and you can save it. <clears throat> I have a sore throat. Um, uh, let's see, just save it in whatever. You, I'm. Oh yeah, before you do this though, you want you might want to put put um make a place to put all your ringtones. So I just opened up documents and then made a new folder. Folder. It came down way over here. Watch right. New folder right here, <clears throat> and then you can rename it as ringtones, and then just keep that there. Um, save this file and just um, find it in your documents and place your ringtone in there. Um, <clears throat> then that's your ringtone, it's really easy. Then Another way, if you want to um, completely edit your audio, you can download a program called Audacity. Uh, the link will be on the right. Actually, this is the first link, but <coughs> I have a site. Well, I, it's not my site, but it's a, it's in my bookmarks. Let's see here. Uh, <coughs> make a ringtone so it's basically I'm doing what this says but some other methods and a little simpler so <coughs> you just download a day shitty It'll just go to the site and scroll down until it says download a day shitty and you can read this for more reference and download it install it and fire it up basically uh, you probably know how to install stuff if you've used a computer before and you want to download this lame file so it can um basically export mp3s Oop, whoops so um so when you download this you save the file and yeah it's going to scan for viruses wait for it then you want to you might even that's wait make another folder new folder i named mine dll i'll just name this dll <coughs> Because the lame file is a DLL file, so and just keep that there. Then, oh gosh, it's good that it's scanning for viruses, but I don't. Okay, so open containing folder if you're using Firefox, and just click and drag the file into your DLL file. So, because <clears throat> you can't actually install it or whatever, but you have to keep it somewhere. So, and then you just, uh, after you install Audacity, you just find it. Here it is. You just wanna, um, 
open your mp3 file so this is the second method on how to make your own ringtone um <clears throat> you can zoom in from view zoom in once so it's five seconds each increment makes it easier you can highlight or whatever you want you can play it but um to actually start editing you want to stop it here so let's see it's whatever and play it <coughs> And you stop it, whatever. And crud. Okay. <clears throat> um, I recommend about twenty or thirty seconds. Uh let's put twenty. And then you want to go to edit here and then trim it. So you got that twenty second audio. <clears throat> and then you're almost done basically, but you can add a whole bunch of effects here. Um like to the beginning of the, my song, my ringtone, I just put fade in, which basically just makes it. Cause if you're in the middle of a school or a meeting or something, and your <clears throat> random song just blasts off, and they're gonna stare at you. And it's kind of embarrassing. Now at the end, I got fade out, so it's quiet at the beginning and the end, so it's not so weird. It actually sounds like a ringtone. And then when you're all done editing, you can totally mess around with this. It's a real awesome audio editor. It might seem complicated, but it really isn't. Then you just want to click export as mp3. Or wave, if you really want to. But this is for ringtone. <coughs> now, this is the tricky part. You don't want to um, save in a program files with DayShd. That's just stupid. It's kind of hard to find. So I just want to, uh, here's the real file. I just click that if you're on Vista. Vista. Um, so you want to find a folder. So this is when you keep making folders. Uh, I'll just put it in this file. So it's in this file, right? So I'm just gonna copy that. Actually, I'll just. I oh, know it's only in Firefox. Okay. You have that there, and you just wanna paste it in because it's where you wanna put it in. You just save it there, and if you, you know process it there you go now you have their mp3 it's really small it should be pretty small um and you upload it to your phone you can either if you have a cable that came with it that connects to your computer or you can buy one for 10 to 20 bucks not that expensive if you want your own customized ringtone or you can kind of sort of email it i think it only works with um verizon wireless but <clears throat> Show them this site. Um, see how long this is. Ooh, it's getting pretty long. <coughs> Let me just okay. So basically, you get your phone number, and then <coughs> if you're using Verizon Wireless, I think you get your phone number and put it whatever at vzwpix.com, and basically just sends it to your phone. Your and com well, if you, you need to just compose an email on Yahoo or Gmail. Gmail is a really good spam filter. I'm just saying. Um. So yeah. Uh. Oh yeah. Cool thing is, if you highlight something in Firefox, you can just click and drag into whatever, and it'll automatically search in Google. That's the thing. But <clears throat> so yeah, just uh, send the MP3 file, attach it to your phone. Um, I'll have both of these links on the right, so you can download a Daishity and the name file and how to more reference. Um, so yeah, that's how you make your own customized MP3 ringtone for your phone. Have fun, just just try to not to put a crazy song. I mean, this is a ringtone, not not your iPod, and nobody nobody can hear your song, your stupid song. So. Yeah, have fun with that. See you guys later and I love I would love your subscription if you like this video.